my bus. I'm looking at the overall appearance of my bus. Um, making sure uh, that the bus is not leaning left or right. It would be, if it is, it's an indication that I may have um, defective shocks or air bellows. Start at the top of my bus. I'm looking at all my clearance lights and making sure that they are present. They are all free from, free from damage and debris, and they're all securely mounted to the front of the bus, and they're amber in color. Checking my illuminator, make sure that it's not cracked or damaged in any way, and that the molding is uh, secure. Checking my windshield, making sure that both sides are uh, don't have any chips or uh, cracks in it, and that the molding around it is intact. I'm checking my wipers, making sure that my blades are present that they're free from damage, sits properly on the windshield. It has all of its hardware. It's securely mounted to the front of the bus and the wiper lines are, um, aren't leaking. There are uh, no cracks in it. Same with this one here. Make sure it's securely mounted, making sure that the wiper hoses um, are not leaking. It's got all of its hardware. The blade is present, free from damage. It sits properly on the windshield. And again, it is securely mounted. This here is where you would uh, check the uh, wiper uh, fluid levels. Checking my registration. Making sure that it is current. Making sure that the license plate matches the number on the registration. 1330104. 1330104. And making sure that the plate also has all four bolts and it is securely mounted to the front of the bus. My bike rack. Making sure. That it's intact, it's free from damage, and all of my uh, all of my bike uh, uh, racks are all uh, have the proper tension on them. I don't know why I'm going to right now. Making sure that it locks back in place. Checking my headlights. Making sure that they're all intact, uh, properly mounted, free from damage. Both sides. Okay, checking my bumper. Make sure it's uh, securely mounted, free from damage. Got my mirror over here. Making sure that my mirror casing is properly mounted, secured to the bus. Making sure that my uh, mirrors are intact and free from damage. I have two side um, clearance lights here. Making sure that they are amber in color, they're securely mounted and free from damage and debris. Got another side wiper over here, making sure that it's present. It's just properly on the window. It's got all of its hardware securely mounted, and the hoses are uh, free of damage and leaks. My side window, making sure it doesn't have any tips or cracks, and it's securely mounted to the side of the, side of the bus. Make sure it is securely mounted. It's intact and that my glass and that my mirror glass is not cracked or damaged in any way. Side window, same thing. It's free of damage, no chips or cracks, and it's securely mounted. My wiper here, making sure that it's free from damage, that the wiper blade is actually present. It's got all of its hardware, it's securely mounted, and my um, wiper hose is uh, not leaking. I got my two side clearance lights on this side, making sure that they are secure, properly mounted, free from damage. All right, now I'm at my door. I wanna make sure that my doors move freely. Okay, making sure that my glass is all intact, no damage to it, and that the molding around the door is all intact. Handles, making sure that they're all properly mounted and secure. I have two passenger step lights here. I want to make sure that they are secure and free from damage on both sides here. Okay. My doors. And here I'm going to start to top my bus. I'm making sure that my side illuminator is free from damage and the window is properly mounted and secure. Here we have the front hook. I almost forgot these. I want to make sure that my decal lights are present, not ripped or torn. I have my uh, needle light amber in color, make sure it is securely mounted, free from damage. Side signal, want to make sure it is securely mounted and free from damage. Passenger light, I want to make sure that it's free from damage and it is securely mounted to the side of the bus. 
here we have our front wheel guard. Want to make sure that they're securely mounted and it's free from damage. Right here I have a mud flap. I want to make sure that it's free of debris and it's properly mounted to the base of the bus and it should be no more than eight inches off the ground. Okay. Front, front steer tire. You want to check to make sure that it's two thirty. I'm sorry, four thirty seconds of tread depth. You want to make sure that it is evenly worn across the top, top of the tire. You want to set, check your side threads, the side walls of your tire. You want to make sure that there are no visible threads on it. You want to make sure that the tire is sitting properly on the rim. The rim itself, you want to make sure it doesn't have any cracks or welds in it. Check the lug nuts, make sure that they are all present. Shiny threads will indicate that they are too tight. Any uh, visible rust could indicate that they are loose. The wheel hub, make sure it's got all of its nuts and that it doesn't have any excessive oil on it. Inside of the top, then we have our valve stem. Want to make sure that the valve stem is present. It's not cracked or damaged in any way. And at this time, uh, our tire should have 120 PSI. Would you like me to check it? Like you guys want to? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. If I were to check it, do the valve stem want to psh, the uh, tire gauge on psh, out, out it pops. The tire pressure needs to be at least 120. How does it go again? <laughs> <That's a psh. laughs> All right. I want to check my brake drums, my brake discs. I'm sorry. Our tire, our buses are equipped with discs. Um, some buses have brake drums on them. If our buses have brake drums, then we would have to check the snack adjusters. You would check those by pulling on the push rods. If they move more than an inch, then they are defective. Okay. So since we have a disc, you want to check the disc, make sure that it doesn't have any holes, any cracks in it, make sure it is uh, properly mounted and that it has all of its hardware. You want to check the brake linings, you want to make sure that they are properly mounted, has all of its um, nuts and bolts, and that they're not worn dangerously thin. Next, <clears throat> you want to check your braking system. You have a brake chamber that's behind the wheel. You want to make sure that it's securely mounted and it has all of its hardware and it's uh, free from leaks. You want to check the brake uh, lines and hoses. You want to make sure that they too are all securely mounted and that um, they're free from any uh, leaks. Then we have our suspension system. Right here you have your air bellow. You want to listen for audible leaks. You want to make sure that it is securely mounted, has all of its hardware and is free from damage. You can't see it because the wheel is turned but we have a shock absorber behind the wheel. You want to make sure that it too is securely mounted and has all of its um, uh, hardware on it. All of its nuts and bolts. Okay. Then we have um, our steer axle down here on the bottom. You want to make sure um, that it doesn't have any holes, it's not bent, and it's free from damage. Any rust on it could indicate that something is loose. We have the steering leakage and the steering box, which actually sits underneath the driver's side of the bus. You want to check the steering box, make sure that it is securely mounted, it's not leaking, and we, uh, make sure it's got all of its cotter keys and it's not missing any bolts. On the leakage, you want to make sure that everything is connected. Make sure um, the rod from the steering box and everything is all connected, there's no cracks, and it has all of its proper hardware. Whew, that's a lot. <laughs> all right, you want to go down the side of the bus, make sure that all of your windows are intact. <clears throat> Okay. You want to check the side uh, passenger light. You want to make sure that it's secure, it's free from damage. Right here, you have another side clearance light. You want to make sure that it's securely mounted, it's free of debris, and there's no cracks or damages to it. You want to check the door. Again, you're checking the garden molding around it. Make sure that everything is intact, and make sure that the glass is not cracked or damaged in any way. We have another passenger step right here. You want to make sure that it's securely mounted and it's not cracked or damaged in any way. Our bus actually sits on a steel frame. In order for us to actually check it, the bus will need to be in the air. But you're checking to make sure that the bus doesn't have, the, the frame is not cracked, bent, or warped in any way, and the bus is actually uh, securely mounted to the frame of the bus. Um, here, you want to check your fuel. You want to make sure that the cap is present, and it is up. Uh, it's on here secure and it's free from any leaks. All right. Got another side of uh, turn signal. Want to make sure it's free from damage and it's properly mounted and secured to the side of the bus.
All right, the back of the bus, we have our drive axle system. I'm gonna check the wheel guard again, make sure it's securely mounted, free from damage. And in here, you have another mud flap. Again, so we know what the eight inches off the ground. Make sure it's securely mounted to the base of the bus and it's free from debris. The back here, we have a, um, we'll have make sure that the tires are no more than two thirty seconds. Make sure that they are both evenly worn. I want to check the sidewalls of the tires, but make sure it doesn't have <laughs> any visible damage to it and no visible uh, tire treads in it. We go screw it. Make sure it's sitting properly on the rim. The rim itself, you want to make sure that it doesn't have any cracks or welds in it. You want to check all of your lug nuts. Make sure that they are all intact. They are all present. Any shiny threads will indicate that they are too tight. Any visible rust will indicate that they are loose. The wheel hub, you want to make sure it's got all of its nuts and everything that it is uh, free from any excessive oil. Um, again, back here we have um, the braking system. Uh, we have our disc brakes. You want to check the disc, make sure there's no cracks, no holes or anything, and that it's got all of its uh, nuts and bolts. You want to check the, uh, the brake linings. Make sure <clears throat> that they're not worn dangerously thin. Uh, you also want to check the brake chambers back here. Make sure that the chambers are not leaking, they're not cracked or dented, and they are securely mounted. You want to check the hoses, make sure that they too are not cracked are not worn and they're not, they're not leaking. You want to check um, this, the rear suspension. You want to check the uh, airbags. There's two. There's one here and there's one here. You want to make sure that it doesn't have any audible leaks. That it's securely mounted. And you want to make, check it for any rips or damages. You want to check the shock absorbers. Make sure that they are secure and that there are no leaks on the bus as uh, well. Also back here we have uh, the drive shaft, you want to make sure that it's not bent and that it is securely mounted. And then you have the drive, I keep saying drive. Yeah, that's right, the drive axle. Making sure that it doesn't have any holes or bends and it's free from damage. <clears throat> the bastards. The what? The bastards. Oh, thank you. Um, wow, I missed that. You want to make sure check, to check your valve stems. There's two. You have one for the outside tire, which is here and directly across from it. Oh, yep, there it is. Directly across from it is the valve stem from the inside tire. Our tire is on the rear of the bus. Also has 120 psi. Would you like me to check it? No. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> All right. All right. Inside of here, we have our diesel exhaust fluid. And that's this container right here. You want to make sure that it is securely mounted, it's free of it, uh, corrosion, and that the cap is on properly and it's secure and tight. Over here, you have your hydraulic or power steering reservoir. You want to make sure that it is securely mounted, and that the hoses coming from it are free from damage and leaks. Would you like me to check the reservoir at this time? No, okay. If I were to actually check it, there's a little cap right here. This little black cap, you would unscrew it, pull it out. It has a dipstick attached to it. You want to read it, make sure it's between the maximum and the minimum, just put it back, screw it on. That's all that's in here. Okay? Yeah, yep. Oh, these do not let it slam. You want to check the brake, make sure that it is free of debris. It is not cracked or damaged in any way. Here, we're at the rear of the bus. So all of our clearance lights and markers are going to be red. You want to make sure that it's securely mounted and it's not cracked or damaged and free of debris. Have one at the top again, it's securely mounted, it's not cracked or damaged and it's free of debris. Go to the back of the bus. I'm going to start at the top with my exhaust. I want to make sure that my exhaust pipe is securely mounted and it's free of excessive uh, soot. I have clearance lights in the back, they are red in color, indicating that we're at the rear of the bus. They are securely mounted and they are free of debris, and cracks and damages. Our rear illuminator, want to make sure that it is securely mounted, has all of its hardware and is free from damage. I have my lights, want to make sure that all of them are properly mounted, free from damage and debris. Okay, right here, 
I have a passenger light, uh, a license plate light. Want to make sure that it too is securely mounted and it is uh, free from damage. I have my license plate here. Want to make sure it's got all four of its folds and it too is securely mounted. I have, um, I have uh, two rear reflectors, making sure that they are both securely mounted. They're red in color and that they are free from debris and they're not cracked with damage. I have a red reflective, uh, my uh, DLT tape. Want to make sure that it's present and it's free from any rips or tears. I'm going to check my bumper. Making sure that it too is securely mounted and free of damage. Check underneath my bus. I want to make sure that there are no, there are no, any, um, not any visible uh, leaks underneath my bus. Okay, now we're going to go inside. This sucker's heavy. Okay, while I'm in here, I want to turn off the bus. This way, no one can get inside of the bus and turn the bus on while my hands are back here uh, in the engine. So on this box here, we have three gauges. We've got the uh, the oil, the water, and the transmission. In order to actually get the correct readings on here, the bus would actually need to be on. Okay, right here is where you would feel your oil. Inside of here, excuse me, it'll stay up. Inside of here, we have, oof, that's gross. We have three belts. You have your uh, compressor belt, you have your alternator, and you have your water belt. You want to make sure that all three are present. They are free from any damage. They're not cracked or frayed in any way. And that they have no more than three quarters inch of play in them. Right here you have um, electrical wiring. Uh, you can tell it's electrical because it's indicated by the rib covering. You want to make sure that there's no exposed wires and they're all securely mounted. Just that quick. So this is really not that much back here. Over here, we have two dipsticks. We have the oil, we have the transmission. Um, would you like me to check them? No. Okay. Um, if I were to actually check them, you would turn it, pull it out, wipe it off, put it back in, pull it out, make sure it's between the maximum and the minimum lines. Transmission, same thing. You'd have to twist it several times, pull it all the way out, fold the. Uh, have you actually seen it done? I'm going to demonstrate this one because this one is really long and if you let it drop onto the ground, they'll dock your points. So you want to pull it all the way out. Be careful because it's getting hot. Pull it all the way out, fold it over, and then pull it out the rest of the way. That's how long it is. You want to wipe it off, put it back in, pull it back out. Make sure it's between the maximum and the minimum. A lot of times they won't even have you open this because like I said, this thing gets really hot, especially if the bus has been running. Make sure you put it back in, make sure you twist it. Tell it won't go any further. Give it a little tug. Okay. Alright, that's back in there. Right here, we have our coolant reservoir. Right here in the sight glass, you can see it's got a little greenish blue fluid in it. Um, if this bus was hot, you would not be able to see this. So this is an indication that the engine is cool. You can actually see the fluid in it. Here is our radiator. From the radiator, you have indicated by the orange is your exhaust pipe, goes all the way up. You wanna make sure that it's, it's uh, securely mounted. It has all its clamps and all of its U-bolts in the back. Right here, indicated by the blue, is your coolant pipe. You wanna make sure that it too has all of, um, has both its clamps and it is securely mounted to the radiator. Here you have your coolant hoses. You wanna make sure that they are free of leaks and these are all also securely mounted. That's all that's in here. Before you close this, make sure you turn it back to front. Okay. Do not let the door slam. They will dock for two points. Keep your fingers in the middle. Okay. On this side of the bus, it is identical to the opposite side, except for two things. On this side, we have our radiator fans. You just want to make sure that they are free of debris and that the brake covering is not cracked or damaged in any way, and it too is free of debris. And then we have. Okay. We want to make sure that the damp the door is free of any damage. 
uh, right here, we have our two 12 volt batteries. Push the tray in, unlock it, then pull it out. And you have to hold on to it or it'll snap right back out of your hand. You just want to make sure that the batteries are secure, all the connections are tight, and all the cell caps are present. This one is actually missing two cell caps. You want to make sure that the posts are free of corrosion. That's it. Let it go back in. Make sure it locks in place. Okay, and like I said, these are maintenance free batteries. That's it. Door. If they ask, you can tell them, but they don't even know this. Alright, now we're going to step inside of the bus. At this time, would you uh, like me to check my lights? Yes. Okay. I have two ways of checking them. One, we could do it manually. If we do it manually, I would need you to assist me. Otherwise, we have a toggle switch. I can turn that on and we can walk around the bus really fast. Toggle switch. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start up my bus so I can start building air for when I get to my air brake test. Mm. Make sure all my gauge is set. Come on, light, turn off. There we go. Okay. Starting up the bus. All right, right here is a toggle for the uh, light. Okay. Follow me, please. Okay. Passenger lights. Well, actually, have your step lights, and they're working. Your passenger and turn signals and leaders are all working. Clearance lights are working. Present and not rip the toilet in any way. My uh, 
ADA's time request, making sure that they both work. There we go. All right. I'm going to check my ADA straps. Make sure it locks in place. Make sure they all lock and retract back. Check that one. Then I got two back here. I'll pull them all the way out. And so we all retract back in and lock. Check my passenger strap for uh, seat belts. Pull them out, making sure that they're not ripped, torn, or frayed in any way. That they come out, they're not twisted. And that they actually lock into position. My shoulder strap. I want to make sure that it too locks in here properly and that it's not twisted, ripped, or torn in any way. And then what I forgot to mention on my straps too is that I also want to make sure those are not twisted, ripped, torn, or damaged in any way. Now this side of the bus is identical to this side. Would you like me to do this side as well? No. Don't just let them drop the boxes. Okay. Also, too, I want to check my passenger lights. Make sure that they work and that they're all intact and not damaged in any way. Uh, so let's see. I want to make sure that I didn't miss anything before I do my driver's area. Um. Yeah. Oh, the floor. <laughs> I want to make sure the floor doesn't have any fluid on it and it's free from any cracks or holes in it. All right, now I'm gonna do my driver's area. We have the fire suppression system up here. It's indicating that it's working. It's got a green light. Right here, I have my fire suppression. Not checked in, oh, it logged is off, sorry. I got my fire suppression override system. I wanna make sure that it has a valid inspection sticker on it and that the pin is intact. I want to make sure that my fire extinguisher is securely mounted. It's got a valid inspection sticker on it. It's got its pin here. And that the yellow arrow is in the green indicating that my extinguisher is full. Our buses are equipped with three triangles. We do not have uh, fuses on our buses. We want to make sure that all the triangles are present and that they're not damaged in any way. Ouch. And you don't want to smash your finger. <laughs> Get in there. Okay, I'm not gonna fight with you. Probably because they're in there upside down. All right. Next, checking my driver's seat. Make sure that I can adjust it. Get into my seat. At this time, whenever you sit into the driver's seat, you are to check your seatbelt and make sure that you put it on. Make sure that my seatbelt retracts. It's free from damage. It's not ripped, torn, afraid in any way and that it actually locks into place. <clears throat> my steering wheel, making sure it doesn't have excessive play in it and that my horn works. Checking my doors while I'm sitting here. Front door's already open. There's my rear door, it's working. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna start from my left and work my way around. Start my driver's window. Making sure that it opens and closes properly and that it's free from any damage. Here, I'm gonna shut my doors. Whoop. Now I have to redo my doors because the front one wasn't working because I didn't have my door switch on. <laughs> All right, there's the front. There's the rear. It opens and it closes properly. All right, next I have my mirror. I want to make sure that my mirrors work with the controls, and they do. And then I have another set of mirrors over here, make sure that they work with the controls. And the controls are reversed, <laughs> but they're working. Okay, I have a passenger mirror. I want my, or my rear view mirror. I want to make sure that I can see my rear door, all of the back of the bus and everything to my right. I have my ADA mirror here. I want to make sure that I can see the ADA seats that are directly behind me. Okay, I check my doors. These are my hazards, I'm gonna turn those on. And then here on my dash. <clears throat> Wanna make sure that my wipers actually work and that they have uh, proper fluid in them and the fluid is actually hitting the windshield itself. I wanna check the windshield again
to make sure it doesn't have any cracks or damages in it because of the glare you can see cracks on the inside of the window that you may not have seen outside here i want to check my blowers I want to make sure that they work so i'm going to turn it on on my defroster and as you can see you can hear it so i'm going to go ahead and turn that back off okay um right here you can check your gauges uh here's my fuel it's full my def uh diesel exhaust fluid levels Here's my 12 volt battery gauge, indicating it's above 12. Here's my 24 volt uh, gauge, indicating that it is above 24 and is in proper working condition. Here is my uh, air pressure gauge. Check my uh, primary and secondary gauges, making sure that they are both um, at 120 PSI. So it should be no more than 130. Here is where I would check my ADA. Nail my bus. Open the door. And can you please step back at this moment so I can check my ramp? Turn the power on. I'm going to deploy my ramp. I'm going to pull all the way down. And I'm going to bring it back in and slow it. Down my bus, close my door. Here, if you switch your screen, you can actually check your fluid levels. Here's the oil, should be at least uh, 30 um, psi or more. My transmission, my water, and my coolant levels. Okay, make sure I didn't miss anything up here. Yada yada yada. Um, nope, okay. At this time, I would like to do my air brake test. So in order for me to do that, I would need to turn off my bus. My wheels are already chopped. So I'm gonna turn the bus off. And I'm gonna turn it back to night run. Wait for all my bells and whistles to turn off. Okay, the first test I'm gonna perform is my static air brake test. Without covering my service brake, I'm going to release my parking brake. And then after the initial drop, I'm going to wait one minute and make sure that I don't lose more than two PSIs. After that one minute is up, then I'm going to do the applied test. I'm going to cover my service brake, and I'm going to apply the brake, and I'm going to hold it for one minute and make sure that I don't lose more than three PSIs in that minute. Okay. After that minute is up, then I'm going to do my uh, low air warning test. And to do that, I'm going to start pumping my brakes. My low air warning should uh, pop on between uh, 60 and 80 PSIs. Okay, and there it is. Now I'm going to do my spring brake test. I'm going to continue pumping my brakes. My spring brake should, um, should engage between 20.